and so I'm going to choose frequencies and I'm going to put salary inside here okay I'm going to turn off display frequency tables immediately yeah because there's a lot of output will come out uh, close this down my battery has gone a bit low here I have to better keep an eye on that okay uh, so we have the salary variable here the statistics I want to generate now when I click on statistics you can see now I can get the median value okay I can get the mode and, and so on yeah so maybe I'll just click them I could ask for the quartiles uh, I could also ask for the standard deviation to skewness and also the kurtosis the minimum and the maximum okay now the output will be presented in a different format instead of in, in a row it will be presented as a column so let me hit continue on this and let me hit OK there we go and here's our output here so but really the why I generated this is to contrast here we know that we've got positive skewness we visualize that as well by looking at the distribution yeah by looking at the histogram the mean was 38,000 but you can actually see that the median is less than the mean so the mean has been pulled in the direction of the outlier in the direction of this maximum value of 97,000 euros so actually a more representative measure of average salary yeah a more representative measure of the of the of the of the center of the salary distribution would be the median value okay uh, with the median salary being reported at 33,000 what we know now is this is that half the employees within this organization have a salary less than 43,000 euros and half have a salary greater than 43,000 euros okay? and that's that's another way to generate the descriptives another way also to generate the description the descriptives is go to analyze descriptives explore okay and i'm going to explore the salary variable but the explorer now allows us to break salary down into groups so i don't need to go and split the file so i could put gender in here okay and then i could ask for what statistics do i want i'm just going to go for descriptives okay and uh, what plots do i want i could look for histograms stem and leafs normality plots with tests there's lots of different things we can do here and i can hit okay there's going to be a lot of output here so just bear with this don't have a heart attack okay so there's going to be a lot of output that's going to come out somewhere here it's doing the analysis okay so where the explore output this is okay the explore output it gives us a case processing there was 1121 male employees there was 700 there are 754 female employees and then we have the descriptives we have the male descriptive statistics are reported here okay here and there's all the usual descriptions we've seen these already okay and we have the females are reported here okay? then what we have reported is our tests of normality is the male distribution normal is the female distribution normal more importantly this test is testing whether there's evidence to suggest that the sample that the sample of 1,121 employees, male employees, is there evidence to suggest that that sample has been taken from a population that's normal? That's the hypothesis test that's been run here. And Shapiro Wilkes we usually rely upon, but I suppose we can't really rely upon this if the samples get too big. Uh, we usually go to Kolmogorov Smirnov then, yeah? Okay. But there's our test of normality. We have our histograms coming through. We have our stem and leaf plots. Now, stem and leaf plots are actually nice. Uh, you can see that here's the frequency this is this is how many people fall into the categories what do these stems represent well it says the stem width is 10,000 so this is two times 10,000 so this represents 20,000 so this is then uh, this is in around 20,000 this is 23,000 25,000 this is 23,000 24,000s this is 25,000s 26,000s 27,000s 28,000s so this is representing the actual the actual it's a, if you look at you can see the shape of our distribution it seems like a histogram that's on that's on its side here yeah it's called a stem and leaf plot but what's really nice here is this is that it's identified 14 extreme values it's identified 14 values that are greater than 92,000 euros yeah and it's saying really that these 14 values are statistically uh, outliers, statistical outliers. Okay? So there seems to be evidence here to suggest that there's 14 employees being paid statistically more than the rest of the employees. So the stem and leaf plots are nice for that. That's in the male distribution. Looking at the female distribution, there's no extreme cases. Okay? There's no extreme cases being reported. 
for the male distributions we have 14 extreme oops extreme values okay? whereas for the female distribu distribution there's no extreme values being reported okay? and we can go down and there's output forget about the qq plots forget about all of that output but there's our box and whisker plots that we've generated as well before so the explore function generates not just the descriptive statistics it generates a lot more things as well so we usually stay away from it Okay, until we become a little bit more experienced with respect to the generation of graphics, graphical descriptives, and also our numerical descriptives. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. I know that there was a lot that I went through here in this video, and I didn't stop talking, but you'll have the, I suppose you can just hit pause uh, on the video yourself, okay, uh, if you want to reflect back over what I've been talking about. Uh, so once again, uh, I hope that this video was uh, intuitive, and more importantly, I do hope that it was helpful for you and will help you uh, in understanding descriptive statistics. So once again, thanks for watching, guys.